Oh, that journey. Oh, my God. I was a student in the dormitory of Kaunas Technology University and never, ever thought that I would go somewhere like telecommunication. I didn't even know nothing about telcos. And I was the only guy walking with those huge smartphones and saying, this is the future, guys. And they say, how come this is the future? We should suppose smaller to get smaller devices. I actually started out as an engineer here at Telesoftas, working for one of our biggest customers, solving all kinds of different telco problems. All the data, all the telecommunication, all the physics measurements, uh, towers, antennas, patterns, it's all around me and uh, it's kind of interesting to see how the world, world is working. When you're a network operator, you have a huge network. On top of that, you have to run a business and then you have customers who might get angry and on top of that, you have competitors. So it's a tough business uh, involving huge operations. And this is where Telesoftus is helping as well business. You need to have your sales points, you need to have your electronic commerce. And this is again where Telesoftus can help. And as well, happy customers, that's the result. We can look beyond the market and therefore uh, give solutions that are maybe futuristic and three years ahead. Besides that, given our background of 20 years in the industry, we have a rich history and a rich experience in solving all kinds of problems. And some of our engineers have been working for 10 years in telco and towards this day, they are solving challenges for our customer given their rich background. Core strain is our mastery, is our uh, people of Telesoftas and how good uh, they are, professional they are, and that those people can be trusted. All the things on demand, how they are solving the problems. If there is a problem, they want to jump on it and solve it without any too much sending mails or, or things like that. I said we don't afraid to suggest them uh, new solutions or that say that no, uh, we can't do that or this is wrong. Doing things not in your working hours, like having meetings in the middle of the night. Creativity can add a lot to the business and this is why we have such a happy telco customers. And therefore I think that we will never get rid of telecommunications because there is always an inherent need for us as humans to communicate in whatever medium or platform is available. So that is how I would classify telecommunications, as in bringing people uh, happiness uh, by linking them up together.